there is not much information about any other human being in terms of describing the details of uh, their forms, countenance, bearing. We have, surprisingly, we have detailed description of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. From top to toe, description of every detail of his body other than the aura that uh, does not appear to anyone from above the navel and underneath the knees. And the rest of the body is described by its shape. So we have description of the thighs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the waist of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And according to the people of his time who described him, they say that he was the most beautiful and handsome human being that any human being ever saw or they were seeing in their times or will ever see in the future. He made a statement himself in the book of Sahih Muslim. Commentators such as Ibn al-Munayyir Iskandarani says the hadith means that the Prophet, Prophet Joseph, Yusuf, peace be upon him, was given half of the beauty I was given, I was given all of it. All beauty was perfected, if uh, to be perfected in a human being, was perfected in the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. People fell in love with him. People who were attached to superficial levels, to the forms and faces and sounds, fell in love with the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, when they met him. They said that he was more beautiful than the full moon. They described him. One of the Sahaba, Al-Bara' ibn Azib, was watching the full moon on uh, a night when the, full, when the moon was full and looking at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi He said, Rasulullah, the messenger of Allah, was more beautiful than the full moon. And the full moon is an example for all lovers to describe, to describe their beloved ones. Imam al